Ladies and gentlemen, it's a city trash bag. You want to talk about a clean camp? This is a clean camp. It's November the 15th, 2011. We're here in Lincoln Square where Occupy Worcester is finishing up its second day of camping in Lincoln Square. Jeremy, you were here last night, yeah? Yes. Did you get any sleep? Um, I don't really feel comfortable saying whether or not I got any sleep, but I will say this ground is not very comfortable. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. And and so the first night people were people were sleeping or not sleeping or whatever being on the sidewalk and now there's some kind of situation where you get three feet right away yeah yeah the three feet is actually um, the, the, the sidewalk is yeah. actually continued like three feet over right. I don't know the I think this might be a right away thing I haven't talked to anybody who knows the legal whatever but yeah I don't know the so there's like a strip of sleeping bags now on the inside edge of the sidewalk. Yes. Presumably softer than sleeping on the sidewalk. Yes. It, yes. It, I would say it's softer than laying on the ground. Yes. And I know that. And I know that people. A lot of people um, hearing about sort of the impending crackdown on Occupy Wall Street went down there at some point last night. Some of us went down there last night, and I hope every one of them is all right. Yeah. Uh, it was very hard on all of us. It was very heartbreaking. Right. I've been to the Wall Street movement. I will say it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, uh -huh. with so many people coming together, supporting different opinions, and saying everyone has the right to have their freedom of speech heard, even if I don't agree with what you're saying, I still support what you say. I actually kind of like that part of people's mic, where it's like if somebody's up there making a speech that you 100% disagree about, at the same time you're actively assisting them in getting their word out with exactly. your own voice. It's kind of awesome. So and so there was like, what, five or six people out here maybe sleeping here the whole night? Not being here, potentially not sleeping. They were definitely here, um, <laughs> yes. Have, 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 there, have there been any particular incidents besides people honking their horns or flipping you off? Um, there was one lady, I will admit, I was in tears after hearing about how the peaceful protesters were attacked yeah. in New York on the Occupy Wall Street. Sure. Um, and I was even more tears knowing that people were going off. And some lady stopped and used her religion as a reason to be bigoted and tell me that I was homeless. I am not homeless. I actually live down on Franklin Street. Wait a second. She used her religion as a reason to be bigoted. Yes. Yeah, she said I needed to go to church. Okay. And that the problem with me is that I need to not worry about other people. I need to worry about myself and I need to go to church and get a job. That sounds like a curious religion that encourages you to focus entirely on yourself. But I you. thought that too. Um, I ended up at one point just I said, you know what? You just came out here to tell me I was wrong and you're right and I'm walking away and I walked away and she still continued to yell at me and tell me I need to go to church. Well, I hope that you guys have no more bad conversations like that. It's been fun standing out here though and listening to the people honking their horns or, or getting love those people. Uh, and encouraging you to get a job, which is a nice sentiment. It's a nice Most thought. Most of us have jobs. A lot of us are um, in college. Yeah. Um, I currently am not employed. I have been employed. I have paid taxes that went to huge bailouts. So I will say you know what? If you want to, I support the people who tell me to get a job. They have a right to their opinion. If they want to tell me that, I support them. There you go. Well, thank you very much. Thank I want to. I want to go look at these signs here. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the tricky things about covering these demonstrations. Sometimes is you don't know what is a, uh, what is the mainstream of the demonstration because there's so many different uh, things going on. There's no. I don't see any super controversial signs out though. But my goal now is every video to try to find the most controversial sign just to make sure I don't skip the outliers. I want to get a video of your sign. Honk if you hate bailouts. Have people been honking? So they hate bailouts. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. And we also have the American flag. Probably not controversial. Let me see. Um, and down here we have the Lincoln Square Peace Vigil, which is out here. Oh, wait, wait. No, don't go. Don't go, guys. Now uh, they're packing up. You guys have been out here every Tuesday for 10 years. Can I, can I talk to you for television real quick, Scott? Real quick, what do you need? You guys have been out here every Tuesday for 10 years, ever since September 11th. Yes, yeah, someone's been here, not me every not... single Tuesday, but yes. Why do you continue doing this so much? Well, we came here after September 11th because the country was rallying for war and then went to war in Afghanistan, and we're still at war in Afghanistan. Why would we leave until the war is over? That makes sense, that's a real commitment. It's a real commitment. Here we got the no more war, these guys, U.S. out of Afghanistan, etc. Hi going, guys, man? very good, very good. Hello. Hi everybody. Hi Clarence, how's it going? So uh, yeah, this is sort of a fun, uh, a fun, interesting coincidence. The uh, 
this connection between the, the piece visual and these guys. I got something else for you. Yeah, you go ahead. Come with me. There's a thing they made the coffins take down earlier. We used to have this flag taped on top of it, uh -huh. however, we took it down and I've been marching around with it all day. Okay, what is this? This is the signpost for the Occupy Worcester movement. Oh, We're okay. actually supposed to remove it from the property. From this now, property? From this property, which is a... It's owned by the Department of Public Works, which right. means it has slightly different rules than a park owned by the city. Right, this has been the big... This is, the, this is what I've heard is that there's been discussion within the city of people saying, this is a park, and other people saying, well, if you look at the rules, this is somehow not a park. Well, basically, they're just trying to prevent us from exercising our First Amendment right to assemble. Okay, so here is the... Occupy the Wall, sign. Uh, Occupy Worcester Crossroads. And, and it, it has, has mileage markers that were originally pointed in the right direction. <laughs> and that, now it may not be oriented quite properly. That were accurate with how far it was to absolutely everywhere else, we've got major supporters. Amherst, Los Angeles, Washington, Boston, and Worcester itself. And Wall Street up top, Miami, Florida, Minneapolis, Chicago, Manchester, and Oakland. So the little handheld signs they're okay with, but the, uh, the structure has not been okay to put up out there. Yes, we actually had to bring it back here and hide it because... You know that this is going on the internet. Yep. You know this is going on the internet, this video. Of course, the people have a right to know what the cops are keeping them from displaying. <laughs> so here it is, ladies and gentlemen. An innocuous sign posted on a street corner with accurate mileage that would not confuse drivers, ordered to be taken down, and the American flag taken off it because we weren't allowed to have it up. There you go. Well, here comes the peace guys. They're wrapping their thing up. Well, anyway, Occupy Worcester finishing up, uh, getting ready to start a third night here. It's kind of incredible. Yes, uh, I'm glad the movement has kept the steam that it has for so long.